Hey, this is Anthony. Welcome, elite team members. I want to do a quick video here. I'm going to have it up. Got my computer right here. It's going to be on the site. If you've been to it today, there's an area there that says how to find your average price per item when out picking. And I think this video is quite important. During the weekend, um, myself and two team members went out and um, we went picking, spent not much at all, 100 bucks a piece, and uh, came out with some great stuff uh, we're going to have up on our sites and uh, probably flip these within the next couple of uh, days here because the season's here. But when we were in the car, I had one of the one of the staff members, she said, she goes, um, she goes, yes, there were these, these two shirts that I really wanted, and she named the brand, and I said, wow. I said, those those go for quite a quite a bit. I said, uh, I said um, can you show me them? And she goes, no, I didn't pick them up. And I said, well, why? She said, well, they were $9.99 each. And I said, they were 10 bucks. She's like, yeah, I said, but they sell for 50 and it's a pre-owned used. I said, why didn't you get them? And, and we went through it a bit and she's like, well, I bought this and this and this and this and this and everything was getting pricey. And I looked at, you know, she said, I looked at that. So it kickstarted. I said, well, we went back and I, I said, when, you know, when you, when, you, when you went through training, this was something that I spoke about. It's something that I, I reinforced with you. And uh, I want to share it with you out here. There's, there's a rule of thumb. Got my calculator here. So I'm going to show you some real numbers on this video. If you're looking at it with your phone, you probably won't get it. The annotations show up. You must be on your computer. So check it out on your computer if you're not um, watching this on that at this at this moment. But um, yeah, so what we do is what I what I reinforce to staff. And I'm going to reinforce to you is when you're out picking, do a do an average price per item with the whole lot. So when you're inventorying your items, um, here let me let me just break it down for you. Say for instance, you went out and you bought. 10 items priced at $2, okay? So you spent 20. Then you found five more items priced at $5, okay? That's five times five, that's 25, okay? I'm gonna do the math as I'm doing this because I'm gonna put this up here for you. And then you found those two items that were worth 10, which brings to another 20. So we're at 20, 40, 60, $65 that you spent, okay? You have 17 items, so you divide that into it. So your average price per item is $3.82. So when you look at the big scheme of things, you, you're, you wanna sell all 17 pieces, not just be concentrated on those two pieces for 10. Okay, so if you average it out, those two pieces that you bought for 10, the average cost of, of that item is actually $3.82. So each time that you do an inventory and you come back from your haul and you there's the inventory sheet. When you, so if you have that printed and you write down, I have 17 items, you itemize them out, and you put the true cost at the end of that, at the end of that line there is gonna be your average cost. And that's how you want, you wanna always have an average cost of all your goods sold, not just indiv individually. You wanna have an idea, you wanna price it knowing, you know, knowing if it's a $10 shirt pre-owned and it can sell for 40 or even higher, you wanna make sure that you price it right. But again, that has nothing to do with your average cost per item. So um, I'm gonna list how, how I do it um, in the little scenario that I put up here and uh, that's a little tip that we use and uh, I hope it helps. All right, I have some more videos. I got another one coming up. Uh, how to make $50,000 a year and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post um, the numbers. I'm gonna break it down to how many you have to sell per hour, per day, per week, how many you must list. So I'll be breaking down those numbers for you so you don't gotta boggle your own brain, you can see. and. Uh, 50 grand a year, I know in LA is really not much. 50 grand a year in certain parts of the country is pretty good. So um, I think that's enough for someone to live on. So I'll have those numbers up. It's going to be a step-by-step -step, um, breakdown. Remember, just the numbers. There's so much more behind the scene. There's, there's, there's a lot more work to uh, be put into it to get to that level. But it's definitely obtainable. So all right. See you on the flip side and uh, talk to you soon.